A lot of times I feel like when I'm playing rhythm, it's more gaseous substance than, than rhythm. Sure. And so when I hear other drummers that never kind of get into that part of it, yeah, you know, and you'll realize, no, you, you, you're, you're, out, you're listening to the wind blow through the trees on this. Check this out. I might have even played this over the phone to you, but, but I'm all of a sudden, because it's just hearing the wind, I gotta, I gotta immediately transport myself into that place. Right? things these gongs things and uh, I've been having him just do stuff and what I may do is just send them out to people and then have people play over top of it except but don't but don't hear what the other people are playing I might put out a version where I get everybody's reactions to these gongs except take the gongs out and just get reactions okay because there's an interesting synchronicity that may happen going, well, sure if Brian didn't hear Leslie on that boy that's interesting how that synced up and the gongs promote a certain kind of modulation so I might just say, hey, Brian, uh, send, overtrack some stuff on this yeah. and send it back to me. Cool. We'll so start. let's do a tenor one. Yeah. And okay. then let's leave everything assembled and lock it up for a little bit. And let's go on a field trip really quick uh, um, to take a couple of videos and shots of just things at this time of daylight that yes, are important I'll, around great. town. Yeah, a little walk. Yeah. A little walk. I can't walk a lot, but... Well, and I was even thinking of driving, maybe okay. part of it, potentially. I mean, wherever, I'm just thinking of a couple of things. Yeah, yeah. Great idea, Brian. Great idea. I'm with you. Great idea, Brian. Great idea. Brian, great idea. I'm with you. I think that's a great idea, Brian. I think I'm with you. I think, Brian.
Come into a room and they just see all these lights and they all see all these instruments and they sit down at their chairs and they go whoa this is going to be interesting i mean when you go in and you see that if you came in and saw it all neatly arranged and all these horns and all this stuff and everybody oh they're all sitting on cajones now i'm telling you <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That's how I look at it. There's this thing that's flowing all the time. Uh, when I go down to his, is what are we rehearsing? Stem to stern. We get in, we put the paddles in, and then and we get so satisfied, like you and I do, when we look at each other and we go, ah, the ending. I mean, that's, that is so cool when we do that. You and I look at each other and we're like, yeah, it's the one. <laughs> that's the, but I mean, that's that's the most satisfying thing in the world. Oh, beginning, middle, and end. <laughs> That's the other thing, you start to trust that if somebody does something, it's going to be heard. And I, I'm, you know, I'm really thrilled. Do I like my playing? Absolutely. Uh, because I feel like I'm never out of, that's, I'm never out of, I'm always in the, in the connection. I'm always containing it.
talk about today is counting, the importance of counting. Uh, I oftentimes say when you're sitting at the drum set, you are like the lighthouse, you're the stable force. One of the things that's cool about the drum set is there's a lot of stuff here that you've got to rotate around. So you have to develop a good observer deck uh, to, to look down at this. But what I want to talk about with accounting is counting is a certain kind of intention. I'm going to apply this uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do, but I'm going to count through all of it. The counting is going to be the bridge that will get me from, I'll be going through some stuff that becomes increasingly complex, and I'll talk to you while I do it. Uh, I'm going to do something that will involve six against four and triplets. Okay, so what I'll do first is I'll go one triplet, two, three, four, I'll count that. Then I will play one triplet, two, three on the snare drum. Then I will go making a leap after in the third bar to four limb uh, like this. And what I'm doing here, and I'm doing it on the cowbell, is using the same amount of notes that I play here, but I'm dispersing them on the whole kit. Okay, so it gets increasingly complex. So I'll start off one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll do another one. Now here we go. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now it's a very simple thing, but if I started to peek ahead or didn't stay focused, especially four, one, when I go to the more complicated thing, that's where I take my eye off things and that's where it can falter. So counting a lot of times will get you bridge the gap between in complexity. Okay? So after I get to that, I'll start to do that. Then I'll just talk to you about uh, I'll commission myself. One, two, three, triplet four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You notice the cowbell plays once or twice, which is just kind of a, I hit it once or it's either that or that, that. One, two, three, four. One, two. What I'm doing is four limb. I'm just pressing it between the high hat. stable I put out a probe note and I immediately check in back in with a solid once I've done that 
Once I've put out one note, it's almost like you'll see, then I'm good to go. I've got to, draw, I've got to launch that first note and hear back to the solid, okay? Okay, is that good? It ran out of time okay. right there. Right. But we're still going on this one. If you want okay. to keep going with that, okay. I think I'm, I'm just going to pull it up here. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back. Okay, so, so, so the other three limbs are going to be playing. It's almost like this is a little gasoline drive over here. Could you just play? After a while, I can just say, okay, you just keep doing that. A lot of times we get into stuff, studying stuff paper-wise, but what I'm describing here is, is leaps, leaps of faith, as it were, from one solid to the next. And I think this is, uh, for some people's brain chemistry, the idea of being able to, to do this, then go to this, go to that, but making sure that you keep counting through it is really crucial. Counting out loud or singing while you're playing is really important. Mm -hmm. One more, uh, finish up. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk the room just a little bit. I'm gonna end back over at that one, which is fun, man. God, we just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just getting warmed up here.
Okay. Glad to get one of those in too. Yeah. <laughs>